Poppy's garden. This is my apple tree. It's got lots of apples. I never had no apples at all the last three years, but this year, it's got lots. I put tomatoes down to one side, and then I put, these are all cherry bushes here. All cherry bushes, they run right along here. I put lettuce in here. The rabbits love that. So we don't get much of that. And then I put this, this trellis up here to put the snap peas. And I put the snap peas closer together this year. And I found that it, it, it worked, they just love that. Last year I put them too far apart, didn't get enough. This year I put them really close and I have tons of them now. On the other side were, were the black beans of the trellis. So I've got black beans on this side, snap peas on this side. I put more tomatoes in here. I, I always do the sticks, it, it kind of works out for me. I just tie them to the sticks. And then I tried uh, beets here. They are starting to come up. You won't be able to see them, they're just tiny, but they are coming up. That's kale from last year. We're gonna get lots of seeds from that, so I think I'm gonna leave it and maybe plant kale down the road. And these are all peppers. I put them really close because they kind of like to be kind of neighbors. So I, I put them close. This is more more beets, which they're getting big. You can see them, but I gotta watch the rabbits too. They love the beets. They rip them out. As soon as they get to a certain size, they just rip them. Then I got more onions down here. And these are those cherry bushes I showed you up there. These are older and they're just packed with cherries. This is the best year yet. Last year I probably had maybe a basket full I'm going to have like five times that now. And then you got the garlic. Garlic starts from here. <clears throat> moves right around to there. Up by the side the uh, cherry bushes is the Egyptian walking onions. I, I got off my son-in-law. That's me, by the way. <laughs> yes, that's the one doing the film. And here, in the buckets, I have more beets because we like beets. And then I got lettuce. And the rabbits are eating that too. They love the lettuce. And then I got potatoes here. I had some left over because I put potatoes right in buckets. So I just threw them there as I had extra. These are beets. I actually started them in the house. I just wanted to try see if they'd work out. These are sweet potatoes. They're just starting to take off. The white bucket down the back, that's sweet potatoes too. How I do the buckets, I, I put holes in the bottom for when I water, it doesn't sog up the dirt. So they'll take what they want and the rest will drain out. So it, it works. I usually water them in the morning and they have all day to dry out.
this year. It's, it's a cherry tree. This is my third cherry tree. We'll see what happens. I haven't had good luck with cherry trees. And along with the cherry tree, I this plum tree. It's the first time you ever had a plum. It's, it seems to be doing really well. And I got the calm tree all down the rows. This blueberry, I put that in two, two years ago. And it, it was almost dead. So I, I, I looked it up and I went and got some coffee, uncooked, not percolated. And I mixed it in a, in a container and I poured coffee in there. And it didn't have a leaf on it when I did. I thought it was actually going to die this year. And then it, it started to flourish. It got full of leaves. It's looking better, more healthy. So I think the coffee helped. And I got the calm tree here. The pear tree, this is a couple of years old now. This has some pears on it. This is doing really well here, really likes it. Likes it here. See the pears here. It's hard to see them, but they're all in up top here and they blend right in. But that's that's a nice tree. I got the calm tree down here. This is it's like, like a lilac bush. I put it there for the bees. It blooms and the bees come, so it almost pollinates the same time as the flowers on, on these trees. It comes out about the same time, which is which is good. Then I got the raspberries down the different rows. I put them in between. Raspberry here, raspberries. And this is another one. This is a blueberry I thought was gonna die on me. But the coffee seemed to work. It, it come back like crazy. So, and it says you can do it about if, once every three to four w weeks, like once a month, mix up some coffee, just dump it in there and then soak it well. And it seemed to help because even this one looked like it, it was gonna die this year, but it seemed to come back. I got this apple tree off, off my neighbor. He I didn't want it no more. When I got it, it was probably about that big and it just took off last year, it just took off. He, he really didn't want it. And I got this seedling, it's a little seedling peach off, off my son-in-law, which is filming this. It's, it, it was only tiny when I got it, but it seems to like it there. Then I put some, uh, Sunflower seeds around it for the bees. I got them all around the concrete there, sunflowers. And this is another apple tree. Yeah, I find the apple trees take a bit before they get apples like that. Them two over there, they're going on four years. This is only two. This is only two years. But I had the odd apple, and, that, and that's what happens. I might have three apples on this. And then Two years down the road, it just gets packed again. Same as the two over there. Then I got all my raspberries here. I only put just one row of raspberries in here and they just spread right out. Looks like a little forest. My grandkids go crazy. When they come here, they run right here. Pick all the raspberries, eat them up. Starting to spread in here now. Starting to go, I got the comfrey again. Oh, this is an olive olive gives little berries they're supposed to be really good for you it's it's got lots of flowers it, it, it was packed I got the comfrey in here too comfrey on that side when it rains it acts like a funnel it, it funnels towards the trees so that so when it rains they, they get a lot of water so what's this what's this you got going on back here this is I put this in this year this is a great trellis I was thinking about it there during the winter I'm going to put a grape trellis in. I didn't really know what I, how I was going to set it up. So I looked it up, and that's this is what I done. I put the two posts. I put them down uh, four feet, cemented. I had my son come over and dig the holes. He's a big, strong kid. So I had him dig the holes, and then I we done the cement, lined them up, made sure they were straight. Then I put the T-bars in, and then I put the grapevines, and I run them up the T-bars. I gotta get them so high, and then this thing here, I'll, I'll cut it off. And then what'll happen, I'll have another wire running across here. My drill bit broke, it would have been done today. The drill bit broke. So when this gets to be out that high, I'll cut this off. And what it'll do, it'll split. 
and they're called uh, cordons. And I'll have one go four feet that way, four feet this way, and I'll cut it off, cut it off there. Then they send out shoots, canes they're called. They shoot canes up to this top wire. And I'll kind of hook them to the top wire and then the grapes will hang down. Same thing here. A rabbit got at this, but it's starting to come back now a little bit here. And I'll run that one four feet, this one four feet, so they'll kind of meet in the middle. Same thing here. Four feet, four feet. I'll have the wire run the cordons this way and then the canes come up, same as this one. I got this one off my son-in-law. He, he has lots of nice grapes. So we cut some cuttings. I didn't know if they're gonna turn out, but it seemed to be okay. It's small, but it's starting to, to grow now. This one, I don't know if it's, it's gonna make it. This one don't look good. So I may have to buy a grape for there. And so I bought that grape. That's, that's a red grape. That's a white, a white, a red a white and then a, uh, a white again and they'll all go four feet that'll come out four feet that'll come out four feet same thing that'll go four feet this way and then the canes will run up and each year I'll leave the cordons on and just cut the canes down to a two bud cut them down to two buds and then they'll go again each year I'll cut it all out so it's Turned out pretty good. My wife wanted me to put the lights on for the normal run into the wires because I mean you could get hit. And then once I run the bottom wire, maybe I'll put little little tags on here for people to see it if if they come running back here. So and then I got another peach back here. I got off my son-in-law. This one's doing really good. It just loves it here. It took off. That thing was only about four inches. So I haven't touched it. I'll let it grow, and then we'll see what happens. And then I got another load of manure from the son-in-law. He dropped it off today. The other one he dropped off in the spring, it's almost turned. I uh, got the roller tail out and I flipped it up a couple of times and now I'll, I'll do the same with that one. The hay don't last long, it just breaks down really quick. And then in the fall, I'll throw this one in the garden and that one will go in the garden a year fall. That way I've always got manure going.